On entering the National Motor Museum, the first exhibit on display was the Silver Ghost Rolls Royce. As well as cars, this museum has displays of motorcycles, scooters, three-wheeled contraptions, and horseless carriages. This was one of the first petrol-driven vehicles to run on public roads in Britain. Built in 1895, with a 1,565cc single-cylinder engine given a top speed of 8 mile an hour. The Grenville is a two-cylinder steam-powered vehicle still in working order with a top speed of 18 miles an hour. Now we are getting faster with this 40 mile an hour 1868cc Pentagon Auto Car 1896. A Renault 1889 had a three speed gearbox with a reverse gear. The Napier is one of the oldest surviving complete British racing car. It was entered in the 1903 Gordon Bennett Cup race in Ireland, only to crash on the first lap. This 1930s 4.5 litre supercharged Bentley is one of only 50 supercharged or blower Bentleys built. Bloody Mary, amateur built sprint special powered by two V-twin Jap engines with a top speed of 125 miles per hour. This three-wheel Morgan with an air-cooled 1096cc V-twin overhead valve Jap engine had a top speed of 70 miles an hour. The AC Cobra 427, one of the most sensational sports cars ever built by AC in Thames Ditton and shipped to Selby Works in California for installation of the Ford V8 engine. A true classic, the Jaguar E-Type won the most desirable cars in the 1960s. Ford dominated endurance racing in the late 1960s. This GT40 is one of the most famous road legal sports racing cars. The Porsche 917 is one of the most successful racing cars ever. It appeared in the 1970s Steve McQueen's Le Mans film. Whilst in the museum, watch out for the monorail train passing through the display area, giving the passengers an aerial view of the cars. Not forgetting the two wheeled machines. The Wooler, a two and three quarter horsepower, flat twin, four stroke engine. Drive to the wheel is through a variable pulley and drive belt. The Brockhorse Corgi Mark II developed from the wartime paratroopers scooter. Grass track racing originated in the mid 1920s. An example of a speedway bike very similar to the grass track bike. The BSA's Sunbeam scooter is followed by a line of Vespers and Lamberettas. A BSA sidecar racing outfit. The passenger's main job is to keep the vehicle stable on corners. What about a ride around the grounds on this vintage bus? Or the monorail that passes through the vehicle display area? I think the monorail. A 
alighting the monorail close to the on-screen cars display area. I must be seeing things. That's the flying Ford Anglia that was seen in the film Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Next is James Bond's Green Jaguar seen in the film Die Another Day having a deadly duel on ice. Weapons include this Gatling gun, this beautiful pink Citroen taxi Babs Cab featured in the opening episode of the League of Gentlemen. This car can be built from a kit which could be fitted to an old Ford Popular chassis was used by the third Doctor Who played by John Pertwee. This Mini first appeared on TV as Mr Bean's car. Heartbeat fans will recognise barmaid Gina Wall's BMW Isita. This Italian Piagro bubble car was first used by Eddie and Patsy in Absolutely Fabulous. The 700cc Reliant Regal featured in only Fools and Horses, Delboy and Rodney's Soul Transport. The best part of a day can be spent in this museum looking at the various motorised vehicles. I think I'll have a go on that bus now. <laughs> <laughs>